curse when we're in traffic A million flavors of your chapstick The way that you keep my heart captive the Journey concert in AC Remember we sang faithfully I still got that old hotel room key This is the way I feel And I won't let you go I need you to know That you are my heart Forever And on and on and on The way you like to sing my songs You always know something's wrong The way you say you miss me when I'm God is the author of love. The scriptures teach us that God is love. And love comes from God. Hannah and John. You believe that it's the Lord that has brought you together in this relationship to which you are making these solemn promises to one another this day. Today declares the joining of their hearts together as one. The sacrament of marriage in which you have come to be united signifies the most beautiful and foundational formation by any agreement of any relationship throughout time.
chosen to exchange rings. They're a sign and a seal of the vows you are making today. Now I have the rings. Though small in size, these rings are very large in significance, made of precious metal. They remind us that love is not cheap. Indeed, it, it love may cost us dearly. Made in a circle, their design tells us that love must never come to an end. We must keep it continuous. As you wear these rings, whether you're together or apart for a moment, may they be a constant reminder of these promises you're making today. John? John, will you take your ring and place it on the finger of Hannah and repeat after me this promise? With this, ring, With this ring, I seal my promise, I seal my promise. To, be your faithful and loving husband, to be your faithful and loving husband, as God is my witness. As God is my witness. Hannah, will you take your ring and repeat after me? With this ring, With this ring I, seal my promise, I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving wife, be your faithful and loving wife. as God is my witness. I, by the authority vested in me through the Lord Jesus Christ and under the authority of the state of Texas, pronounce that you are husband and wife. May God bless you and keep you and give you his peace. Amen. And what is God has joined together, let no man separate. John, if you're in a proper mood, you kiss you. For the very first time, Mr. and Mrs.
Um, so to you both, I just wanted to encourage you to first and most importantly just keep your eye on Christ every day, no matter what. You know, just continue to have your own quiet times and also you know, pursue Christ together as you pursue each other. Um, continue to make two quality time together. I know that you're both so busy with school, finishing up school, and y'all are just y'all just busy people. And I just want y'all to just continue to make quality time, even through the busy times and through the hard times, because that's so important to continue to grow your relationship. Because this is just the start. And finally, I want y'all to laugh every day, and I want you to kiss each other every single day, and don't miss one day of kissing and laughing, okay? <laughs> That's, I think that'll keep it light and fun, and it'll just help your relationship so much. So, with that, I want to cheers to Hannah and John, the most adorable, cutest couple you'll ever meet. <laughs>